Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and thanks for joining us for today's video, much appreciated. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about speed cranking. I'm gonna to explain to you what it is, when it works, and sort of give some tips and advice on when you wanna use it. Um, now, one of the things that you have to realize about bass fishing in general, especially when you're using artificial lures, is the speed of retrieve, or the way that you retrieve a lure, um, or the cadence or the action that you put on a lure, it has a huge impact on how many fish you catch. Um, there's certain lures out there, particularly like what we're talking today today with, with like crankbaits, where the, uh, the, how fast you reel that bait in is everything as far as being able to generate a strike or not. Now speed cranking, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically just what it says. It's reeling a crankbait really fast. Now, most people will throw a crankbait out there and they'll just, you know, retrieve it just like that, just a medium retrieve, and that works under some conditions. But speed cranking is when you throw it out there and you're reeling it fast. You're not burning it like as fast as you possibly can, but you're burning it probably at a 75% of the overall capacity you have to turn a real handle fast. It's like if you, if you know, if you back it off 25% versus 100, you know, percent of how fast you can reel something, that is pretty much speed cranky. And it may be not quite 75, sort of like 60 to 75% of your full on speed that you can crank out there. Now, this is a really, really effective technique under certain conditions. And I sort of want to talk about that a little bit. The main thing with speed cranking, um, there's, well, there's two variables to it. And one of them is probably more critical than the other one, but they both play a role, is the water temperature and the water clarity that you have. Now, in general, what you have um, in clear water a lot of times, especially if that water is a little bit warmer, and I don't mean really warm, like summertime warm, but in clear water situations, if you have water temperatures over like 55 degrees, this is a good time to try speed cranking. Because when I'm talking about clear water, I'm talking about an environment where you have like four foot of clarity. So speed cranking is gonna be effective any time from you know, like the middle of spring on through the rest of the year where you throw it out there and you're just reeling it pretty fast like that. Now, another condition where it works really good and it's actually my favorite way to fish, speed cranking. It's actually how I caught quite a few fish this past week at Lake of the Ozarks. I was fishing a jig and a crankbait, speed cranking at both, is in um, hot water that's dirty and shallow. Now, what this does is when you have hot water and you have cover in shallow water, um, fish will live on that shallow cover if the water's dirty and even warm. They'll live in two foot of water. And a lot of times those fish, they, you know, it can, it's a lot of different factors involved, but a lot of times they're inactive. And one of the ways that you can activate them is by generating a reaction strike. And a reaction strike causes the fish to bite a lure that comes past them at a high rate of speed because fish feed out of reaction a lot. They're an instinctual feeder. And a lot of times if they see something coming past them really fast, they just dart out and get it. And a prime example, what I'll give you guys here, when I was fishing some at Lake of the Ozarks this past week, and these were not keepers. Most of these were like 12 to 14 inch fish, which are decent fish. They just weren't keepers in our tournament. Is I'd be reeling that crankbait next to a dock and you know, the water visibility was maybe about like that, but I was keeping my rod tip high and I was keeping the crankbait high up on the water column. When I speed crank that crankbait past the corners of those docks, all of a sudden I see these bass just boom, just dart out as fast as they could and hit the thing. Now, if I was reeling that thing just like that through there, like wobbling it through there, they probably wouldn't have reacted to that. But just the fast retrieve and they're positioned on the corner of that dock and they just dart it out and try to get it. So um, that's the other time. Um, the, like I said, it's probably a little bit more critical in the shallow hot water as far as generating the strike, but it still can be a factor in the, in the cleaner water. But overall guys, um, try speed cranking in those two different scenarios. And really when you're, when you're trying to determine how fast or how slow to reel your crankbait, it's just an experimentation. It's like, once you get into an area where you know there's a few fish in it, just try some different speed of retrieve. You know, speed it up, slow it down, you know, use a stop and go retrieve, use a half reel, you know, steady retrieve. Just experiment for a little bit until you find out what they really want because it changes every day. It's like, you know, they may want a, a speed cranking uh, technique one day and then they want maybe want, maybe want it backed off 10% the next day based upon 
things like, you know, sky conditions and light levels. So anyway, just hope that helps out. We'll talk later this evening.